this video will probably be a short one. We're going to cover freeze frame now. Freeze frame is a helpful tool in pixel streaming. Let me demonstrate how to set it up, and then I'll show you what it does. Firstly, let's open up the project's level blueprint. You can see the X bind quit that we had before. We're going to make a new one here. So, we'll bind it to the F key. F. We'll attach a flip flop node. And then from one of these outputs, we'll go freeze frame. And from the other, unfreeze frame. We've just set up a toggle for the freeze frame function. Let's show you what that does now. We'll compile and save this here. And then as usual, we'll set up, we'll use the internal signaling server for this one. And we'll run it standalone. Now that that's running, let's go over to our browser. Connect. Connect. So as you can see here, no visual difference. But if we hit the F key, that's frozen the stream on the current frame. I can still send inputs, but you won't see them. If I set the F key again, you can see that it's resumed. And this is a really simple implementation of freeze frame, but there is a lot more you can do with it. For example, you can tie in images to the freeze frame to function as loading screens, for example. The idea is that you would expand on the freeze frame function yourself to add in any functionality you need that would help from freezing the stream output. Just remember that user input will still be maintained and you'll need to make modifications accordingly to prevent that. Now, let's move on to mic audio next. 